Prince Harry warning, Duke told to face consequences of U.S. move as William takes titles. Prince Harry has been told to face the consequences after losing his military roles to another member of the royal family. Prince Harry, 36, was stripped of his military titles after he stepped down as a senior working royal to move to L.A. with his wife, Meghan Markle, 39. The Duke of Sussex held the titles, Captain General of the Royal Marines, Honorary Air Force Commandant of the Royal Air Force Base Honington, and Honorary Commodore-in-Chief of the Royal Naval Command Small Ships and Diving. A royal expert has since said Prince William is likely to receive the titles. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Ems Koenig said, he already knew that he was going to lose the position with the Marines. He's not being stripped of his ranks just his military assignments. He's living in the U.S., they need someone who is in the United Kingdom to represent and take part in the formal events when needed. There was a rumor that is was going to Princess Anne but it's going to be Prince William. They're going to put second in line to the throne which is ceremonial. He made a decision, there are consequences. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You chose to leave and therefore there are certain things you will no longer have access to. According to the book Finding Freedom by Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand, Harry was devastated by the loss of the roles. Mr. Scobie and Dems Durand write, Harry's lifelong commitment to the military was why the Mountbatten Festival of Music three days later was a particularly difficult moment. He was set to wear his Captain General of the Royal Marines uniform for the very last time. During a conversation backstage, on arrival, Harry told Major General Matthew Holmes, I'm devastated that I am having to step down. It was so unnecessary, Meghan later told a friend of the decision to strip Harry of his military honors. Some members of the public have called for Prince Harry to be stripped of his ducal title. But expert Ems Koenig pointed out the Duke may automatically no longer be known as the Duke of Sussex if he chose to apply for U.S. citizenship. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Ems Koenig said, he would literally have to give it up, even though there is no law preventing him from still being called Prince Harry, but when you become a U.S. citizen, you have to renounce any titles or allegiance. But, for example, there are two Americans who are peers. One is the Earl of Warncliffe and I'm sure he doesn't use his title in everyday life, but I'm sure there's nothing stopping him from using it. And there are at least two Americans who have inherited a baronetcy. You might not put that on your business card if you're a carpenter but it's not against the law. U.S. Constitution Article 1 Clause 8 states, No title of nobility shall be granted by the United States and no person holding any office of profit or trust under them, shall, without the consent of the Congress, accept of any present, emolument, office, or title, of any kind whatever, from any king, prince, or foreign state, 